What's up guys? Another Cancel Cup video today. Actually was not planning on making one, but this team, a uh, bit of an update from my old team. It was extremely successful, so I uh, I really feel like I was I would be doing you guys a disservice unless we made this video. Um, we can hop right into it. Huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. Actually, one of my Patreon supporters tested this team for me um, before, before we actually uh, got into this CDK. Uh, thanks for doing that. This was a... It's a bit of a take on the last team um, I made at the end of last canto. That was Nine Tails, Shadow Victory Bell, and Shadow Dragonite. The reason I used Shadow Victory was because I didn't have the Shadow Dragon Air in the first place, or I didn't have the dust for it. Now I have the dust, um, and I, I'm ready to go. This team is a ton of fun. It checks all the boxes you want on a Pokemon Go team. It's fun. It's fast. I, I, that's not criteria for all teams, right? But it is fast. Your games will be fast. And it's good. Um, I think I played seven sets with this team and they're all positive. A couple 5-0s. Um, I think the worst I've ever gone is is, is three and two. And, and even in those sets, I've made tons of mistakes. So I, I can tell there's lots of room for me to Im improve with this gameplay. And as of right now, because people don't know the team um, fully, like they might guess it's a Dragonite in the back. They can't always assume that yet. And um, it's just, it is it is really powerful. So this is literally your classic AV team. If you play any of the teams that I have played in the past, uh, it, it'll play the same way. We have Ninetales in the lead, that fire type. Um, to deal with the ices and the fairies, which are really the only threats to to the dragons in um, in Anto Cup, and you have Dragonair and Dragonite to deal with everything that Ninetales can have, all the water types and uh, the other fire types that might have better coverage moves. As you see, um, a lot of my uh, Pokemon here are running mono type move sets, right? Ninetales only dealing fire damage, Dragonite is only dealing dragon damage, um, Dragonair has Aqua Tail, but like realistically speaking, this is um, this, what we would call socially acceptable fast move team most of the damage from fast moves but it's socially acceptable because they also generate energy so we're okay people won't hate us for this team uh, so yeah we're releasing it all right let's take a look at some gameplay video Mew lead um, I didn't swap very fast I should swap right away Shadow Dragonair generally resists all the charge moves so it's uh, it's a nice Pokemon to switch into Mew um, even Dragonite is good too because you can pressure it down it's quite a squishy Pokemon you can pressure it down those shields they come in with Venusaur so if you ever see a Venusaur on the opposing team it's almost a free win um, it doesn't usually come on your Dragonair uh, but that's why I think that my opponent might know uh, that I am running Ninetales Dragonair Shadow Dragonite because that's the best place for their Venusaur to come out so because I win switch there because I switch in Venusaur I'm able to switch in um, Dragonite and get a free easy or tank a surf and in my head I was just saving uh, just saving the shield for for nine tails anyways at this point now because they've revealed they have muck in the back I might save the shield for uh, for dragon knight instead um, but alone muck versus nine tails nine tails tanky enough to tank a sludge wave or a dark pulse Doesn't really matter um, but at this point I'm just getting that weather ball off either forcing the shield or having this muck go down and either way is good for me it doesn't matter we're gonna let nine tails go down dragonite has enough health remaining to uh fast move down the rest of these pokemon with a shield now, dragonite's very squishy though so versus machamp for example or uh you go down at about the same pace as their counters do you barely beat them this next battle against auburn one of the best players in the world we have a bad lead so we can struggle out of this one uh, Rock boys are actually not too good against the dragons. So Rock very good against Ninetales, not very good against um, uh, the the backline. So we're gonna switch. And right now, switch advantage doesn't matter to us. It's all about shields. Shadow Dragonite needs two shields to beat this Graveler, but it takes not very much damage doing so. so this is okay. Um, I know Ninetales is blocked against the Graveler, so because it's locked against the Graveler, we're not gonna throw any moves. We're just charging up. Uh, we're not gonna shield. We want them to brave bird us. We want this Pidgeot out of the way. Shadow Dragonite now has two shields, and we're just going to go to town. And this is a very common play with this team. So when they bring back in that um, in, in the Shadow Graveler, that's exactly what you want to see, right? If you bring back in the Shadow Graveler, that means they don't have a better answer for, for Dragonite, and that means you have a chance. So I'm counting moves. They're just at a Shadow Bone here, and we're going to take them up with Double Dragon Claw. But yeah, there's no way this Graveler is going to be able to... Um, power through both shields here they just got to their first move um 
against this Dragonite. So you can just see how powerful Two Shield Dragonite or Two Shield Dragonair is um, just as good, but usually <laughs> it's it's not surviving that switch matchup. So Lapras lead, if this is um, Ice Shard, you gotta stay in. If it's Water Gun Lapras, you switch out, right? Because then your dragons are very good against Lapras. Um, unfortunately, because it's Ice Shard, Nine Tails is your best counter. Lapras is one of those Pokemon that's quite tough. Same with Dugong. Um, but I'll show you that we can win versus these Pokemon, even though they do have pretty good matchups versus this team. So I spent a shield on a Surf. This time I'm not, I'm not gonna shield. I can't afford to shield another one. And uh, we're gonna get to that Weather Ball. Make sure to under tap so we don't over tap there. And um, we're gonna win Switch, which doesn't matter because we have two dragons in the back. So we're gonna put Dragonair into that Marowak. And because they're not switching, it's a really good sign. Um, they don't have better dragon answer likely, so we're gonna throw this Aqua Tail. And then yeah, so when they shield, it's like okay, that's their best dragon answer. And in comes Venom Shadow of Venomoth. Um, I do not think they got the uh, the notice yet. Poison Fang is not getting buffed until later, but holy crap, that did a lot of damage. Poison Fang, one of the weakest moves in the game, hits Shadow Dragonite that hard from Shadow Venomoth. That's some Shadow on Shadow violence. Uh, those 20% really multiply up there uh, to give give that much of a, a damage boost to um, that Poison Fang, but it doesn't matter. We still have a shield, still have a Dragonair. It doesn't matter if the Dragonite goes down at that point. I think this is the last game of the set. Let's see what we have here. Snorlax lead. Um, I tried overheating a couple, uh, a couple times on Snorlax and they've always shielded. So this time I go for the Weather Ball, and we'll see if they shield. Yeah, they don't shield, so I don't know. I don't I don't know what's the best, baiting or not baiting out of the, the lead. I haven't got it right, but I've won every time anyways, so far, um, against these Snorlax leads. I shield an Earthquake. It was just a premonition there. I did not know that the trainer was going to Earthquake, but if they charge up that much, something is up, right? Like, you're not throwing superpowers at Ninetales. That doesn't make any sense, so it, it's got to be Earthquake. Um, and obviously they switch from Mew, we counter switch into Dragonair. What, what can they do here? If they wild charge, they go down faster. If they don't wild charge, well, yeah, you can see how that goes. Uh, unfortunately, they are able to take out that second surf. I was planning on coming with the Dragonite anyways, right? In this case, what I'm doing is I'm trying to deal as much fast move damage to this muck as possible. They're at a dark pulse right now, so I'm gonna throw and get out. Because I obviously don't want to have to spend a shield there. Um, they attempt to catch the Weather Ball very close uh, on their Snorlax, but we do have an overheat here, and it's just going to completely demolish this muck. Yeah, I think they uh, they know the overheat's coming. Look how pretty Ninetales model is. That's like that is a beautiful fox. Um, what can I say? But we're going to pull off that overheat and the win. I believe this was a 5-0 set. One of the the couple I got with this team. The thing is like. I don't feel bad making this video at the end of Kanto. Niantic will always bring back Kanto Cup. Um, people will always appease the Gen 1ers. Cytochrome, I knew there was going to be a Grimer on this team. That's an XL Alolan Grimer. Um, so I'm actually really not sure how to play this. I build up to an overheat. I know he's a smart player, so he's probably thinking that I actually do have... Like if I'm throwing there, I'm probably trying to overheat and dip. That's why he threw his crunch there too. So we throw the Weather Ball, and we're both going to dip at the same time. And this is not good. Uh, we both swapped uh to a fairy at the same time or sorry he swapped to a fairy i swapped to a dragon um and we'll see who wins this matchup i mean i don't think i'm gonna shield usually they throw body slams but he goes straight for the mega horn i think he knew i wasn't gonna shield um but i have to come back in with this nine tails and he had far more energy than i thought uh i'm gonna have to shield up here if i want to take this uh not nine tails Larian Rapidash down, and I'm gonna have to double shield. Double shielding body slams feels really bad. But the Grimer does come back in. I get the last shield with Weather Ball, but unfortunately, this switch was a little bit miscalculated. Obviously, they're gonna get to a sludge bomb and be able to take out take out uh, my nine tails. But if I didn't switch, right, I was just gonna get poison jab down like that. So I try my best. Good game, Cytochrome. A Lolan Grimer too powerful. Can't wait to build one of my own, although probably not shiny because I don't have that Pokemon. All right, we have Machamp versus Dragonair. 
So Dragonair actually somehow loses less health than Dragonite when fighting Machamp, despite Machamp resisting the counters. Sorry, uh, Dragonite resisting Machamp's counters. That's actually insane to me. Muck comes in. This is pretty okay. They just try to deal a bunch of damage with Machamp so they can win switchback. Um, but to me, switch isn't that important right now. And unfortunately, I can't quite get that Aqua Tail off one turn away. But we can come back in with a Nine Tails. Right, Nine Tails is going to be kind of useless here versus uh, their remaining Pokemon because locked into that Machamp matchup. Nine Tails versus Machamp is not very good. So unless we exit this with quite a bit of energy, then. Uh, then this Machamp is probably going to walk all over us. They swap to their Haunter, trying to save their Machamp for Ninetales. Uh, but I'm going to swap to Dragonite. And you can see that there's only a couple Pokemon Squishy and Dragonite. And Haunter might be one of them. And those Dragon Breaths absolutely chunk. We're going to take it down. We're going to take Machamp down before it even gets to a move as well. And you can see how much those counters do. Yeah, just take everything down. Not even throw those moves there. But we did have two, two Dragon Claws ready to go. Uh, even if they were a little bit healthier, we would have still won that game. Uh, Dragon Breath is just a really good move. This is for all the people who don't think it's a very good move. So Machamp comes in. We're going to switch into um, Dragonite just because Dragonair generally has better matchups against the rest of the meta. I think Shadow Dragonair is the MVP of this team. It's so good. Um, but Dragonite gets full farm down with one shield. We're still at looking at 40% HP. And obviously in comes uh, Alolan Ninetales. This is where we throw the Draco. If we had Hurricane, probably would be a bit better. But it is what it is. It's hard TMing off a legacy move. Yeah, we can talk about move sets. Um, everything is arguable for all of these Pokemon. Um, Weather Ball is not arguable. Aqua Tail is not arguable. And Dragon Claw is not arguable. The other moves, you can kind of just all change them around depending on what you're seeing. I think I'd be running either Solar Beam, probably Solar Beam, or Psy Shock if uh, not for Overheat on Ninetales. Uh, Dragonair can run Wrap, but I think Dragon Pulse is better. And then obviously Hurricane on Shadow Dragonite is the other other option. So in this game, we'll just be able to farm down a Blastoise. You can tank a Hydro Cannon and still still win that matchup. Um, sorry, sorry, I got distracted. I, I just really felt like people were going to ask about uh, move sets there. And it's always I think it's important to teach you guys um, that these move sets are variable, right? And, and the ones that I've chosen aren't. It's it's not set in stone, right? There's there's always ways to improve finding move sets. Like, you don't even just trust PvP Pokey's movesets. Um, like, when I built that first team, Shadow Victor Bell, Deoxys Defense, Bastion, I changed Rock Slide to, to Thunderbolt, even though everyone is using Rock Slide. And it, and it catches people by surprise, and you just, it produces results. So, uh, being able to to be objective and look at your movesets and change them around is kind of important. Sorry, I got a bit of a tangent. Dragonair lead. We switched into our own Dragonair. Um, we forced the shield from Aqua Tail, and then I shield to try and. Uh, take them down and unfortunately they lag a turn so i'm actually able to win this matchup otherwise it would have been very close mew comes in and obviously this is a dragonite this is that's dragonite's music um nine tails does not like the surf spam that usually comes with mew i'm gonna a shield and of course it's a surf and they come in with venusaur so the goal here is to get up as much energy as possible so it looks like we're in a really bad position right dragon air lead is not good for this team Mew counter swap with some energy is not good for this team, but they have a Venusaur in the back, and that's the saving grace for everything. Once again, I'm not throwing any moves. Same situation as before. I don't want, I don't want their Mew getting any energy off of Nine Tails. I want to go down. I want Dragonite to have this, have this um, head-to-head -head matchup with all the energy that he has, and now it's just a guaranteed win. So even the swap into Venusaur just sets this team up for so much. Dragon, uh, Dragonite got so much energy out of it. Um, Nine Tails got, uh, well, could have had a ton of energy out of it if they hadn't thrown their move and because they threw their move they lost the game so it's just a, a lot of win-wins there as soon as the the nine tails comes out the low and muck lead um i swapped out of this before and i got punished for it so we're gonna stay in a little bit but this one is bite this is bite a and muck so it took me a little little time to figure out what's going on we're actually gonna bank all that energy um this time that's the first time i ever do this and once again it's gonna be a wiggly tough switch in i've seen this a lot recently um but it doesn't always mean that there's double charmer in this case I had a team similar to this recommended to me by Inadequance with Shadow Victory Bell in the back. So I'm playing this game with the, not the knowledge, but the the suspicion that Shadow Victory Bell is in the back here and Shadow Dragonite has this great matchup. Um, and this is kind of how ABB teams work, right? We pull out their counter and in the back, we just have to beat down that Shadow Victory Bell. Uh, in this case, I'm going to throw that Weather Ball, both of them. Try and take this Muck down because it's the only threat to Dragonite. And as soon as Victory Bell comes out, 
we we swap into that dragonite and oh, look at that the poor sad plant it feels bad almost eating down pokemon i care so much about like that but we're gonna pull out four wins the only loss here to alolan grimer shiny alolan grimer so we'll, we, we take those and here we are going to see a bug this is the metacham i caught in the last set ridiculous bug um in comes shadow hypno i'm not able to attack for a little bit but it looks like we're going anyways um hypno is one of those neutral leads i like to soften it up a little bit before we go so we charge the overheat do what they want to do they don't shield it so maybe i start overheating hypnos um i i, I called all these wrong all the time um and psy shock legacy shot psy shock that's insane um honestly it happened a couple times to me and and it catches you so off guard it's Oh, it's and it's game winning, right? Like getting that much damage on nine tails. How's nine tails supposed to deal with Wigglytuff now? This is really tough. <laughs> pun pun not intended. Um, but I do have to get that weather ball off. Really hoping they don't shield because it does give me a chance. But it's the extra charm through makes this look really bleak, right? Because now they get to an extra or they get to a move as well. So just the stars aligning in the wrong direction. And those two charms are going to be too much with that Hypno still at a little bit of HP and a Lickitung. We're just going to top left there. Yeah, that, that's that's really tough. I think even if they didn't have Psyshock, we would have lost. Valor Ash as well. Actually, we played a lot of Legends in this uh, in this video. Ninetales, Mirror Lead. We're swapping out of there right away. I don't have to deal with any of that. I don't have a neutral move. I'm only running Overheat, right? So we're switch switching out um, Shadow Hypno. Psyshock again. I really thought I would live the Thunder Punch, right? Um, and would be able to throw uh, throw my energy, but it is what it is. That's two side shock hypnos in a row. Uh, I, I you just can't make this up. Uh, so nine tails is gonna be able to take down the hypno. We're gonna shield, I don't think. Yeah, we know it's a side shock this time. No surprises. Um, and what the heck? Rhydon comes in. This is good. It has mud slap, right? So it can't touch Dragonite. We're gonna throw that weather ball and we are just gonna go out to Dragonite. Dragonite is gonna try and take the Shadow Ninetales down before it gets to a couple of moves. But unfortunately, it's not gonna be very successful at that. Ninetales gets the weather balls very fast. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have to shield up both of them. Shadow Ninetales, weather ball versus Shadow Dragonite does quite a bit of damage and the resultant mud slaps, even though they're double resisted, will chunk. So at this point, just trying to get these dragon claws out so throwing two dragon breasts on the dragon claw this time we'll throw five this next one or we can only throw three because we just want to get this move off um, before they get to their move and take down that shiny ride on so side shot hypno now we have a little bit of experience with it much better prepared for it we're able to win this one obviously this wasn't as hard counter of a team um but it is what it is king this battle versus king himself uh, we have a Rapidash lead, and we're going to swap right out to Dragon Dragonair. Love those five turn moves. You get a ton of energy. Uh, I make this play because I know that they can get tempted into trying to farm me all the way down here. But I really think I should have built up to Dragon Pulse. But my Dragon Pulses were getting shielded all day, so I don't know. Um, but we CMP tie on this one, which is great. Um, and I swap into Ninetales. I'm not shielding nine tails at all. I just want to get some farm. And this is going to be actually an icy wind instead of a water pulse, which allows me to get even more farm. So they do swap into slow bro. And at this point, instant swap into Dragonite. We have to try and take this thing down. Um, I'm throwing with correct move timing so that he doesn't get any uh, confusion through. We're gonna shield whatever this is. Because obviously nine tails can't deal with this. Hope for no defense drop. And once again, we're going to go for this um, this Dragon Claw. And he lets the slow bro go down this time. Um, probably trying to get a farm lead on this Rapidash. But that allows me to get five Dragon Breaths worth of damage in. We're going to go for the big overheat here. Just kidding. It's a bait weather ball. And now we're going to go for the real overheat. And hopefully it's enough to take down Rapidash. Rapidash very squishy. Um, but obviously carrying that drill run, which is extremely good versus nine tails. But because it's a five turn move, he doesn't have the ability to catch um, if I'm playing properly. And even though attack is harshly debuffed, nine tails is going to be able to take out Dugong in the back too. So um, pretty bad lead, pretty bad switch, right? But we're still able to, and, and not a not a solid uh, a backline matchup too, but we're able to claw that one back as well. So Alolan Golem comes in. As soon as Alolan Golem or Graveler comes in, it's almost certainly 
it's almost certainly um double rock boy and once again i swap in dragonair i'm still not sure if i should swap in dragonite or dragonair into the first rock boy i did not expect them to go stone edge um usually you run your golem as your wild charger so very very well played to them uh but i'm gonna shield up here the rock class the only one shield remaining right so i have a full move and uh, they're likely gonna bring their other rock boy in right now right oh but they don't have it they're ringing hypno actually and this is a bit of a tough situation because if i switch my nine tails gonna get farmed down by this rock boy if i don't switch then i'm i messed up too so i do i switch to catch the move which is very important i'm gonna need that shield for later because guess what we have uh we have graveler here and actually i go for the overheat um charge up quite a bit we're gonna go for the overheat this is gonna deal a ton of damage but they shield it so once again an overheat not getting um not getting through it was a very frustrating day for overheats but like i said like i feel like i was failing every bait game but i still win every game so uh it is what it is we're gonna farm quite a bit on this uh this graveler because they just threw their energy there we're gonna take down that graveler and we have already another dragon uh, built so we're gonna be able to take down that uh hypno as well dragonite just really putting in some work there uh this is the advantage of your fast move Pokemon also having energy. <laughs> like it's, uh, I don't know. Dragon Breath is just so good, especially in Great League. One turn move deals that base one damage. So you're dealing one extra damage per attack. It's pretty busted. Anyways, we have this Raichu. We're not shielding Wild Charge. Um, I didn't think they'd bring in a Pidgeot, but they did. Uh, but same situation as before, right? We're gonna bait them into throwing a Brave Bird here. We're, there's no way we're shielding we're not shielding anything from this dumb dumb bird nine tails is in our carry right it's dragonite so we throw them same time as them and yeah that brave bird comes out we switch right away and snipe that pidgeot with that defense drop raichu comes in but raichu not gonna get to another move and we find out it's neo queen and unfortunately neo queen is not buffed yet uh, this will be a non-spice pick. That'll be so weird. Nita Queen's going to be a non-spice pick in a little bit. But you know what? We're going to go big and go straight for that Draco Meteor. Love to see it. Second Draco landed this time and obviously it wasn't necessary. I feel like uh, Dragon Claw was probably enough to deal with the Nita Queen at that point. Uh, but it is what it is. Yeah, so that was um, 13 out of 15 wins, I believe. Uh, yeah, this team is so good and it's so fun. Uh, I really do want to try and find a, a way to put Shadow Dragonair on some open great league teams because i spent a lot of dust on it and it does feel very strong uh, i can just power through a lot of these matchups so maybe i'll be looking to do that uh in the future but yeah that, that's it for kind of cup this time for sure even if i find another great team i'll probably just not make a video on it uh because it's it is really late and i'll just save the save the team for next time kind cup rolls around um but yeah as usual i'll put my my information in the description and as always, thanks for watching, guys and girls.